Hey guys, Logicus here with a fairly lengthy guide for Minecraft. This is for all 122 achievements worth a whopping 2,820 gamer score. This also stacks, so if you have Minecraft on the PC, the Xbox, the Switch, log in with your Microsoft account and you can earn additional achievements on there as well. For this guide, we're going to be joining an achievement realm. This is a world created by another player. This one is by Cookiest Monster, and I found it to be the most efficient way of getting the achievements unlocked. I'll put the realm code in both the description and the comment below. Then all you need to do is go over to the friends tab, join realm, type the code in, and then you should join this server. You'll spawn in facing this altar with a little bit of information and you'll notice at the bottom of the screen that the achievements have already started popping in. This is for things that are already built into the world that Cookiest Monster has already created. If you turn to your right hand side we have a long wall of buttons and lecterns. These will spawn us into various different zones. What you want to do is press left trigger on the first button. This then tells you not to move for around three minutes. So don't touch your controller at this point, just stand still. It's then going to teleport us into various different biomes and situations, unlocking in the region of 20 to 30 achievements for various different location based achievements within Minecraft. While we're jumping around, it's probably a good idea to tell you how, roughly how long this is going to take. So it took me just over an hour to get the 120 achievements. After that, there is two one of which is playing the game for 100 days which takes roughly four to six hours of just standing still idle and then the last achievement which is getting a gift from a cat which is relatively easy to do and it is set up within this achievement world however everybody needs to go to sleep at the same time at night time but for whatever reason we couldn't get that to happen or the server was always populated with people afk so at the very end of this video, I'm going to put a seeded world that I found and show you how to get the cat gift at the very end of this video. We're probably about halfway through the teleporting now. This is just sailing the seven seas, dropping you into each sea biome. We've also just got the achievement there for camouflage for killing a mob with the same head on. Another achievement popping again. It spreads, which is for killing a mob next to a catalyst. Still dipping into all the different sea biomes. Another achievement for healing power of friendship. Team up with an axolotl and win a fight. Once we've done the seven seas, we're now going to have a tour of all the nether biomes. This is going to teleport us between each nether biome one by one. It does give you a rough description at the top there of where you're getting teleported to. For whatever reason, this one didn't pop for me. But later on into the achievement realm, you do get an opportunity to go through the nether biomes again. And you'll see that in the video. So for now, we're still jumping between all the nether biomes. Achievement still popping for some of the locations we've been to before. So levitating up 50 blocks. We've now come out the nether biome and heading into Atlantis. So we're just going down the waterfall and dropping down. We've now been given a map which is going to give us the treasure hunter achievement. Again, just leaving our controller alone. We're just standing still for now. Another achievement there for bouncing 30 blocks high on some slime. And then we should be shortly teleported somewhere else. There we go. Dropping down into this biome now. Got the cow tipper achievement. Also the diamonds achievement for acquiring diamonds with iron tools. Now getting the Hoy achievement into the nether. So we've got one for constructing a nether portal there. Although we haven't actually done one. Dropping into another biome. Sail the seven seas, which we've done earlier, visiting all the ocean biomes. We've now landed on the back of a pig. So we're getting the pig riding for saddle up. And we're now dropped into a mine cart to do the, the 300 meter length here for another achievement. And then once we come to a standstill or a stop, what we can then do is walk forward and step on this panel on the floor. That's going to then teleport us towards the ender and hopefully take out the ender dragon. 
for whatever reason it glitched out a little bit here for me and I had to walk forward a little bit so I dropped down into the hole there we go we're now in the ender just get yourself out this water and then there's a button on the left hand side here which will respawn the ender dragon press that you'll be given an end crystal all we need to do is place it directly above this sign like so with left trigger and that's going to kick off the ender dragon sequence and spawn in the dragon while waiting for the dragon to spawn we're going to kick off this and get some dragon's breath so we've been given an empty bottle you just need to press left trigger while in the pink smoke there and that will fill the bottle with some dragon breath we're now waiting for the ender dragon to spawn when he does eventually spawn he will just die outright as you'll see in a second here he's coming down and he is now dead so that'll give you the achievement for killing the ender dragon but there is also a second achievement for initiating the ender dragon sequence for a second time called the end again so we're just going to look back down at this panel and we want to press the button on the left hand side to get the end again so just press left trigger on that button to use it you'll be given another crystal pop it back above this sign and then we've got the sequence running again and we should get the end again achievement as well so just want to let this play out once more there you go there's the end again achievement for respawning the ender dragon and i think shortly after that pops we also get the achievement for the dragon's breath which is you need a mint which is this one here where we have to collect it in a glass bottle now just waiting for the ender dragon to spawn in here he is and again he has died within a couple of seconds once dead we can then jump into the middle of the ender portal and escape this area so there we go if we just jump over here we can dive into this pool and then this is going to throw us into a little hole if you do a 180 you'll be told to walk forward this then takes us back to the very start before we initiated the the three or four minute sequence of events we're now going to go on over to the second button not this one but the one to its left this one the easiest achievement order you just want to press left trigger on the button and that's going to spawn you into this room with a load of food in your inventory what you need to do ideally is then press that button in front of you which i didn't do what that would do was starve you out completely then you would eat the rotten flesh to save you from starvation then eat the enchanted golden apple and then of course the pork chop and the chicken at the moment i'm at full hunger so i can't actually eat anything else what I should be doing is pressing left trigger on that button in front of me to starve me out again and then I can eat the chicken and the pork chop. Here I go, press left trigger. That's going to bring my hunger down at a rapid rate of knots. I can then eat the cooked chicken and the pork chop. Now that I've eaten those, we can move on to the next one. So this involves cooking some meat in the furnace. Just look up and press the button, left trigger on that button. It's going to give you a pork chop and a piece of chicken. Left trigger on the furnace, pop in the pork chop with Y to quick move it to the top. Give it a couple of seconds to cook. Hover over the cooked pork chop and press Y to put it back in your inventory. Of the rabbit meat, just press Y and throw that into the furnace. Again, give it a couple of seconds to cook and then press Y to retrieve it from the furnace. That's us now cooked those two pieces of meat. At this point, it does recommend that you throw a diamond and a suspicious stew at somebody. So I'm just backed out to that room to see if I can find somebody. Can't see anybody here. So I'm gonna move over to the base game teleport can't see anybody down this corridor either although i can see there's roughly five people online i'm going to go back again and then we're going to move to expansion pack three voila i have found somebody so i'm going to 
highlight my diamond and press down on the d-pad to drop it then highlight the suspicious stew and press down on the d-pad to drop that and that should give me two achievements i'm now going to back out and go back to this button here which was the easiest achievements press left trigger i've been given all that food again but i don't require it i'm going to move down to the next objective which is to take a portion out of this brewery and also play some music so i've just thrown the music disc in with left trigger and then i'm trying to quick move this portion of weakness out of here but for whatever reason it wasn't giving give it a couple of goes and then it does come into your inventory the next workstation is to cook a piece of fish but my inventory is looking a little full so if you go further down this wall you will see there's a button to clear inventory that's just wiped everything out of my hot bar and I can continue on as a fresh. We can now press the button to get a raw piece of cod. Throw that on the furnace using Y. Give it a few seconds to cook and we should get two achievements here. One for super fuel for using lava to cook and one for delicious fish for cooking a piece of fish. We're now going to move over to the next workstation which is drying a sponge in a furnace. Just press left trigger on the button to get a wet piece of sponge. Again, press Y to quick move that to the top. And then we should get two achievements here for alternative fuel and drying out that sponge. Grab it with Y and then we're going to move over to the next station here. This one's a little confusing, but what we need to do is put this block of iron ore underneath the coal. So if you open the bottom furnace here, you want to move the charcoal to the very top. And then you want to put the iron ore underneath that, which seems unusual. It'll throw it back out to you, but that will give you the achievement for renewable energy, which you'll see here in a second as I go to try and do this again for a second time. There we go, renewable energy, I've already got it. We can just ignore that one for now. There is also a furnace above here with a quite a high button. If you want to press left trigger on that button, you'll be given a piece of wood. Again, all you need to do is quick move that piece of wood into the furnace, which I didn't do the first time, but I will do this time. So I've now got two pieces of wood. We're just going to quick move those up and then we're just going to use wood uh, with wood to make some charcoal. Retrieve the charcoal and you should get the achievement for that one. Then this next workstation that we're going to move to is a little confusing. It is to craft all workstations and tools. But this button is only going to give you one stick, which is a little confusing, but I'll, I'll talk you through it. Now that we've got the stick, all we need to do is go into our crafting menu by pressing X. You'll see on the left hand side, it'll take one stick to make a crafting table then one crafting table will make you a sword, one sword will make you a wooden shovel, a shovel will make you an axe, an axe will make you a hoe, just click on these after one after another, a hoe will make you a stone pickaxe, ugly a pickaxe will make you a cake, a cake will then make you some bread, and then if you tab over to the bed, your piece of bread will then make a furnace, your furnace will then make an enchanting table and then your enchanting table will then make you a bookshelf and that should be all 12 objects that we need to create for that achievement there is a picture of a bed up there but it's not actually needed for the trophy or achievement so you can just ignore the bed for now and that should be everything you need to craft we can then move on to the next station if you press that button it's going to give you a plant and then what we can do with the plant is then open our crafting menu again by pressing X and eventually open it so press X to open the crafting menu I'm gonna get the plant again get the plant again press X to open the crafting menu and then that'll make you a plant pot. And what the plant pot will then do is allow you to make a sign, similar to the last 12 tools. 
So you can see there's a sign there and you can press Y on that to make a sign. We now have a sign and a pot created. This one is then going to teleport us to another room and it's going to put a load of items in our inventory that we need to use in a particular order. So this very first sign tells us to use the potted plant to highlight the potted plant that's in your inventory. Place that on the floor and then it's asking for a sign which is not on the hot bar but you can quickly move it down. You don't need to type anything on here. Uh, you can just put one letter and then press B to back out. So I put the letter Y on there. We now need to put a C pickle down to make it a four. Head across here, we need to put some scaffolding on the top of the world. So select the scaffolding and then one of these side bricks here to place it on the top. And then we need to light the nether. Although we got this achievement earlier on, I've done it anyway. So just get your flint and steel and light the nether. This is asking for a beacon. So place the beacon at the very back there for another achievement. This one is asking for a beehive or bee nest. Put that onto your hot bar and place that under there. We now need to get a bottle of honey. So select the bottle and press left trigger to use that. We now need to select the pumpkin to make an iron golem. He's dropped down the floor there. This next workstation bugged out for me for whatever reason. What you're meant to do is push right trigger to punch a piece of the map off the wall and then place it back on. But the map just seemed to disappear completely and I was unable to place it back on the wall. So I just left that for now, but you do get an opportunity later on to get that. This one just switch to your bucket and then press left trigger to collect the fish. Although it doesn't look like it's done anything, it did actually pop the achievement. For this one, we need to climb up the ladder and trade with the villager with the 16 clay in our inventory. Press left trigger to talk to him and then press Y to quick move the clay to the top. Keep pressing trade until you get all the emeralds. This should give you a couple of achievements in relation to trading with the villagers. This is this segment done. So all we need to do now is go to this back wall and press this button to return back to the start. Now that we've done the first two lecterns and buttons, we can then move to the base game. There is a couple in here that we haven't yet done. I'm just having a quick look at my achievements. So we've had 71 pop, just a little over halfway already. Press the button to move into the base game. This one suggests open your inventory, but we've already done that. Break a block of wood with your fists. Again, this one is advising us to craft a few things which we've already done so a lot of these stations can be ignored we did this in the last section this one regarding smelting some iron we haven't yet done so press the button to get an iron ore block there is a couple of ingots in there already just quick move those out wait for this to finish and then pop yours out and then we should be done with that workstation the next couple of workstations here are asking us to craft a cake and some bread, which we've already done, so we can ignore these for now. Move a bit further down, cooking some fish, which we've already done, so that can be ignored. Travel 500 meters on the rail, that is also done as well. Overkill a monster we haven't done yet, so press the button and then press right trigger to punch him once. That should get that achievement. Cow tipper, which I believe we already got, but I'm going to do anyway. So pick up the leather, highlight it, throw it into the air and catch it. Riding on a pig for saddle up. We've already got that anyway, but we've I've done it again. This one we haven't done, which is tame five wolves. You'll be given a stack of 32 bones. Just press left trigger on all these wolves until they get a red collar and some love hearts above the head. Once you've tamed all five, you should get the achievement for taming a pack of five wolves. We can now move on to the next station, which is crafting a dispenser. Just before that, I'm going to clear my inventory. Now back to the dispenser workstation. Press the button to get the materials. And then there's a crafting workbench underneath there. Just press A on the dispenser to craft that. So that should be the achievement for creating a dispenser. This next workstation regards the nether portal and lighting it, which we've already done. So that can be ignored. This one is the sniper jewel. So what you want to do is get a bow and a few arrows. 
and then 50 blocks away you should be able to see a skeleton just shoot him from 50 blocks away and you should get the achievement it does seem to need to be at night time so he wasn't spawning for me until the sun went down and then I did eventually hit him from 50 blocks away giving me the achievement for the sniper duel I'm now just going to go and clear my inventory again because I had a few bows in there this one we've already done throwing a diamond at another place that can be ignored we need to return a fireball to a ghast all you need to do here is hold right trigger so you're constantly punching eventually once he fires a fireball it should go back at him and kill him the next workstation is to throw a blaze rod at yourself so just press the button to get one press down on the d-pad to throw it and then walk over it unfortunately the world reset just as i threw it so we'll try that again i didn't actually pick it up every couple of minutes the world does reset and everything goes back to how it should be this is a good way of keeping everything clean and tidy but if you're in the middle of something it does reset what you're doing we've already picked up this portion before but i've done it again there that's to drop back into the ender which we've already done this one is to craft an enchanting table which again we have already done so press the button to collect the parts i'm checking my inventory here but there's actually a crafting table hidden away under there so craft the enchantment table and then place it down there and then this one is again to create the bookcase which we've already done but i'm doing it again so craft the bookshelf and then place it on the block to your right there that is complete discover all 17 biomes which we've already done earlier on we don't need to do that the next workstation is to breed two cows with wheat you get two pieces of wheat just press the left trigger on both cows to feed them the wheat give it a couple of seconds and a baby calf will spawn the next one is to eat a pork chop which we've already done these next set of signs describe the passing time achievement which is waiting 100 days which we'll leave that to last so press this button and kill a creeper with a bow and arrow to get an archer achievement this is trading with the villager again which we've already done but for the hell of it i'm just going to trade 16 pieces of clay again so keep pressing the trade button and getting those emeralds but you could ignore this as we did it earlier the next workstation is for placing a pot and a sign so if you press this button you'll be given the two place one here and then the sign beside it and you should get those achievements if for whatever reason you missed iron belly in the first room you can get it again here all you need to do is press left trigger on that button and it should starve you once you get down to zero or starvation just eat the rotten piece of flesh and that should give you the iron belly achievement if we go back to the next workstation this one involves shearing a sheep so if you press left trigger on that button you'll be given some shears press left trigger again on the sheep and you'll be given some wool that's that achievement sorted the chest beside the sheep has a load of pieces of wool in various different colors just press y to quick move each one of those into your inventory and you should get the achievement for having all colored wool the next one after that is staying frosty so if you press the button you will be given some lava resistance you'll see that appear on the right hand side there all they then need to do is dip yourself into the lava for a few seconds climb back out and that should be that achievement it's probably a good opportunity here to clear your inventory so press the button on the wall behind you this bottom chest is going to explode with a load of cobblestone what we need to do is then move the cobblestone into the chest above just highlight each piece and press y to move it into the box you'll have to do this twice to get the 1700 cobblestone i believe you need to move into this chest so again just quick move as much cobblestone into the top box as possible and then i believe the achievement should pop there yep a chest full of cobblestone you've mined 1700 and placed it in a box there's a button there as well to clear your inventory the workstation next door is for the renewable energy achievement we've already got that one but we're going to do it again anyway for the hell of it so just wait until this piece of wood turns into some charcoal 
tab it back across and then we'll move along again we've already played music in the jukebox but it's quick and easy to do iron golem also done but nice and easy we'll do that one again press that button to get a full set of iron armor which is already pre-equipped lovely we need to feed this zombie an enchanted golden apple so with it in your hand press left trigger to feed it to him he will tie and you should get the achievement the next one is feeding an ocelot some fish until he becomes tamed just keep pressing left trigger with the fish in hand until you get the love hearts and that is it for this section of room we can now go to expansion pack one by standing on the panel we're now going to move over to the first workstation on the left which is to spawn in the wither if you press left trigger on the button you'll be given a wither head or skull place that in the middle of those two and it should make the wither there is also an achievement for killing the wither so we're just going to stand here continuously punching until he dies you will get knocked back just return just keep punching and you should get both achievements for one spawning him in and two killing him boom he's gone we can now move down to our next workstation this one is for placing a beacon which we've already done but it's quick and easy overpowered by eating a golden apple again we've already done but we'll eat it anyway this next one we haven't done which is dye some pieces of armor you're going to be given four pieces of leather just walk over to this cauldron look in and press left trigger on each piece of armor this is going to dye it a yucky yellow color but give you an achievement trampoline which we've already done but we're going to do anyway because it's fun which is jump 30 blocks high on a piece of slime we went to about 33 34 there you'll eventually come down to a stop and you can walk back through the door the next workstation hang on i'm going to clear my inventory first the next one is for the ender which we've already done so we can ignore this one completely this one is going supersonic while falling down so if you press the button you'll get a cape on your back like so what we want to do is drop into this hole and as we start falling we want to hold a yes hold a jump that will make you go faster and supersonic you'll also hear like a whistling wind sound to indicate how fast you're going i suggest doing this a few times because it didn't pop on the very first time so i do this three or four times drop into the hole hold a so you go supersonic and then you should get the achievement this one again is for drying a wet sponge which we've already done but i love drying sponges so i'm going to do it again this next one is stay underwater for two minutes without drowning you won't drown if you jump in here but it is a little bit tedious waiting two minutes so i'm going to cut the video until when the achievement pops at the two minute mark as we get to around the two minutes we have a little visitor appearing into my puddle get the free diver achievements we can now jump out and move on to the next workstation which is powering a furnace with lava which we've already done but we'll do it again again taming a horse which we've already done but we'll do it again feed him a couple of apples and then you just keep jumping on him until he stops rearing up and kicking you off you'll know once you've got him tamed because he'll stop bucking you off and you'll also get those red love hearts appear above his head quite a stubborn horse this one it took me about six or seven attempts to get him tamed again we didn't need to do this because it popped during our three to four minute session at the very start but there he goes he is now tamed so we can jump off the horse and move on to the next workstation this one is one we actually need taste of your own medicine press the button to get a poison flask just press left trigger to throw that at the witch and then they should eventually die beam me up which is using an ender pearl so if you go into your inventory you always have two just in case you get stuck i threw the first one and didn't go very far step a bit further back and then press the ender pearl again and then this should take you to the very start of the level which fulfills the criteria of traveling a long distance with it and giving you the achievement there's the achievement popping for taste of your own medicine just heading back into expansion one 
As we get back here, the Beam Me Up achievement has popped for traveling 100 meters with the Ender Pearl. Lovely. And then this is another opportunity to get the map completed, which booted out for me earlier on. What we want to do is press right trigger to break one of the pieces of the map. It does suggest you break the bottom left one on this one and then place it back on with left trigger. You've got to be quick because this resets rather quickly. So you need to right trigger to punch it off and then quickly put it back on. And that should give you the map room achievement. As we move on to the next workstation, let's kill a mob while wearing his head. So that's instantly put a zombie head on our head. And all we need to do is punch the zombie. But we did get that earlier on if you were paying attention. The next workstation just spawns an Elder Guardian. Spawn him in, give him a quick punch to kill him. And that's that achievement. Same for this Evoker. Just spawn him in and punch him. We don't need to levitate 50 blocks up because we did this earlier on. But I'm going to do it anyway. It's fairly quick and easy. And there we go. The next workstation is to dye some bed sheets. We haven't done this one yet. Open the crafting menu by pressing X, select the black bed, and there you go, we've dyed the bed black. Cheating death, all you need to do is press the button and that should be that. The next workstation is for leading five llamas. You'll be given one lasso, just throw it on the closest llama, pull it along and all five should follow you. Give it a couple of seconds and then they should die or despawn and you'll also get the achievement. There we go, lead a caravan containing at least five llamas. Now we get to the next workstation. This one is called Let It Go, where we have to use the frost walker boots to walk on water. Press left trigger on the button to get the boots and then just quickly press Y on the boots to pop them on your character. Didn't seem to last very long, so I think I give this a second try. Get the boots, press Y on them to put them on your character, and then we just run across the top of this water to create some ice. I think that's enough. The achievement should pop with that. And then we'll move on to the next workstation. The sea pickles we've already done. Alternative fuel using dried kelp we've already done, but I'm going to do it anyway. So just putting some raw chicken in there, let it cook, and then we'll get the achievement for the dried kelp or the alternative fuel but we should have got that earlier on anyway this one we haven't got which is echo location press that you'll be given some fish all you need to do is quickly feed it to the dolphin before it dies or despawns and that should be easy as that just pressing the button to clear my inventory the next two workstations are kind of time related and can be paired up together so the first one is sleeping with the fishes stay under the water for 20 minutes and the workstation next to that is eating only dry kelp for the three days. As long as you eat the kelp and nothing else for the next three days, that achievement should pop. So eat a piece of dried kelp. And then what we want to do is throw ourselves into the water here. We need to stay under here for 20 minutes of real time. So go and have a break, a snack, something to eat, maybe have a shower. Set a timer for 20 minutes. Come on back and that achievement should have popped. Obviously, with the magic of video, we're just going to cut ahead to 20 minutes and this achievement popping, spending a full day underwater. Once we've done that, we can then leave the water, just swim back up and jump out. Still waiting for the kelp achievement to pop, so I'm going to force feed myself a load of kelp. Hang around for a bit longer until three days have passed. You can press that button to transition into day and night, but it doesn't always work. I go to check and the achievement pops for Castaway. Eat nothing but dried kelp for three in-game days. With that done, we can then move along to our next workstation, which is do a barrel roll using the Riptide. Press the button, you'll get a Riptide Trident, and then all you need to do is press left trigger, or hold left trigger and then release it. To ch so charge it up with left trigger and then let go and you should do a barrel roll. Once we're done with that workstation, we can move down one to this one. This is marine biologist, which is collecting fish in a bucket. You may have done this earlier, but this is a second opportunity to get that one. 
Ahoy is the workstation after that, which we don't need to do because we've already done that when we were getting teleported around between the worlds. Again, placing scaffolding on the top of the world, we've already done. Where have you been? This is a tricky one. What you need to do is feed the cat so it's tamed. Ensure it isn't sitting down and it's stood up. As you'll see in a second, took a long time to tame this cat. So it's sat down, press again to stand it up. And then what you're meant to do is sleep when it is night time. And the cat should then give you a gift in the morning if you're lucky enough. But sadly, this server always seems populated. So this is a difficult achievement to get. If you jump to the very end of the video, I'll show you how to get this one on a solo survival using a world seed. So as you can see here, I can't go to sleep unless the other four people do as well. But that's not going to happen. You may get lucky and you'll be the only person on this server, whereas you can just go to sleep and you should hopefully get the gift. If not, jump to the end of the video and I'll show you how to get this achievement. There is one station at the very end here after the beds. It's breed two pandas. You'll be given two pieces of bamboo. Just press left trigger on each panda and you should have a little baby panda spawn. That should get you that achievement. And we're now done in this section of corridor so we can now move on to the next room. Expansion pack nine. In this section, what we need to do is ignore this one because we've already been to Atlantis. We don't need to press that button. The next one is to rename a shulker box with the anvil. So press the button to get a box. Press Y to throw it up onto the anvil and then just give it any name you want. I just pressed Y and then press Y on the box on the right hand side and it should be given a name. Just going to clear the inventory out because I've got a bit of junk from the last room. Fruit on the loom. Here we want to craft a banner. So if you press the button here, you'll be given the three mats that you need to create a banner. All you need to do is press quick move on all those three. Don't worry about selecting a shape or anything. All you then need to do is press Y on the banner at the very end. And voila, another achievement. The next workstation is to tame 20 cats. If you press the button, you'll be given a load of fish and a cat will spawn in the middle. Feed him the fish until he gets the love hearts and then just press right trigger to punch the cat and kill it. Press the button again and another cat will spawn. Keep doing this over and over, giving him fish till he's tamed. Give him a quick punch, press the button until you've done 20 cats. This can take a little bit of time, a minute or two to do all the 20. And then you'll probably notice that you've got a hell of a lot of fish in your inventory. So you might want to go and clear your inventory out once you've done this. While we're taming the cats, we do get fruit on the loom achievement pop here, which is for creating a customized banner. And continue bopping the cats until we have 20. I believe this is our last that we need. Brilliant. We're now looking for a clear inventory station. There we go, nice and clean. And we can move down to the next workstation. This is Sail the Seven Seas, which we've already done, so we don't need to bother pressing that. This one is Disenchant a Sword, which we do need to do. Press the button to get a sword, and then all you need to do is disenchant it and take the diamond sword back out. Need to kill a beast and a ravager, just quickly hit those with the sword that you do in, have in hand. The next workstation is sound the alarm. So when the villager above you is getting attacked, you're supposed to ring the bell. I found the best way of doing this is just constantly punching the bell for about 30 seconds and you should eventually get the achievement. So just keep bopping that bell, keep ringing that bell and then the achievement should pop. That was actually the achievement for the disenchanted item earlier on, but it should pop a bit later on. Once we're happy with that, we can then move on. This one is the pistons. We don't need to do this because we got this earlier on while we were getting teleported around. So this can be ignored for now. The next one we do need to do, which is artificial selection. You'll be given two golden carrots, feed one to the horse and one to the donkey, and they should produce a meal. 
The workstation after that is eat a cooked rabbit, which we've already done. So we can ignore that one for now. Again, the next one after the rabbit is treasure hunter, which we've already done while we were getting teleported around the map earlier on. This one is to take the heart of the sea. Just press the button, you'll be teleported into this hole. Open the chest and grab one of the hearts or a stack of the hearts. Turn around, press the button to get back out. Nice easy one. The next workstation along for this one is give um, Suspicious Stew to another player, which we've already done, so this can be ignored. Sticky situation we should already have had while we we're getting teleported around. It would be a case of sliding down some honey blocks, which we've just done there. The next one is be our guests, which is collect honey from a beehive. Again, one we've already done, but quick and easy. Placing a beehive down in this hole. Again, one we've already done. Bullseye isn't one we've done yet. All you need to do is cock the bow and then try and land an arrow right in the middle of the bullseye. You get plenty of attempts to try and do this. As long as you hit the bullseye a couple of times, that should count as being complete. Once you're happy that you've hit the bullseye, you can then move on to the next workstation. Just be aware there is a little bit of arrow drop, so you might want to line up just above the bullseye. Once you're happy with that, move on to the next station. This is cover yourself in netherite armor, which it instantly does when you press the button. Next workstation along is give a pigman a gold bar. Once he's had hold of it for a couple of seconds, walk back up to him and he should throw some items at you. That's a good indication that you've made a trade with him. The next workstation that looks like a little TARDIS is for visiting all nether biomes. For whatever reason, I only got 80% on that. I seem to be missing one. So if you are missing one, just open the door, stand in the nether here, and you will be teleported through all the biomes again. This will take a couple of minutes to jump through all the biomes. So with the magic of video, I'm just going to edit this out and jump straight to when I come back out. The workstation after Hot Tourist is whatever floats your goat. This was already picked up when we were getting teleported around earlier on, so it can be ignored. Again, the Axolotl and the Squid fight, it can also be ignored because that was picked up earlier as well. The workstation after that one is Wax On, Wax Off. This involves waxing all different variants of copper brick. To do this, you want to get the honeycomb, which you should have in your inventory after pressing the button. Press left trigger on one of the copper bricks, switch to your diamond axe and then press left trigger to take it off. You can tell when it's waxed on because you get the gold honeycomb color on the brick and then once you've waxed off you get this silver or white effect on the brick. I did press the button twice and got two lots of honeycomb and axes. So my plan was to go up and then back down because this does take a couple of attempts to get it to work. So press left trigger with the honeycomb to wax on, switch to the axe and then press left trigger to wax off. Do this 16 to 32 times and you should get the achievement. Just be aware that if there's any world resets, it will take the wax on off, if that makes sense. And you will need to reapply the honeycomb. Go up and down a couple of times and that should be enough to get the achievement. As with a lot of these achievements, it can take a couple of minutes for the achievement to pop, so it's best just moving on and coming back at a later date. The next station is one we need, which is Ride a Strider on 50 blocks of lava using the stick. So once you press the button, you'll spawn in on the strider. Just push forward and ride the 50 blocks of lava, and that should be that. The next workstation we don't really need to do because it's just important putting some music on the jukebox as well as the next workstation along which is doing a trade with the villager which we've done twice already but I'm going to do it again anyway press left trigger to trade and then again just press the trade button to trade to get back just drop down this hole and we should return back to that corridor that we were at previously once back we'll just move along to the next workstation which moves us into the latest expansion pack. The first set of signs just explain that this one auto pops and you should have got this very early on when you've joined the server. 
The next workstation is involving doing a sneak 100 achievement. All you need to do is press the button to spawn in this room. And then you just want to crouch by pushing in the left thumb stick and then crawl really near to these guys here, which are detectors. When they detect you, they actually light up and change color. Just go really close to them as possible without setting them off. And you should get the sneak 100 achievement. Once you've done it for about a minute or so and you're happy with it, you can then just back out of the room by pressing the button on the wall to return back to the corridor. The next workstation after this one is have all frog lights in your inventory. These have been automatically generating while you've been playing and it should just auto pop the achievement. You probably have this quite early on. The very last workstation that we need to do is called the birthday song. If you press the button, you'll be invited into this little room here. On the other side of the room, if you press the button, you'll get four cakes and an alley will spawn. Firstly, press left trigger to give him a cake. And then what we want to do is press left trigger on this block to make some sound. And the idea here is to make him drop some cake on top of the block while we're playing the tune. So as long as you keep throwing your cakes on the floor, he'll pick them up. Any additional cakes that he is carrying, he will then start throwing on the floor. So keep throwing your cakes while pressing the block. And what you want to do is make him throw one on top of the block. As soon as he does that, you should get the achievement for the birthday song. It's a little bit tricky to do. Just keep a bit of trial and error. Just keep, there we go. So that should pop us the birthday song achievement. Once you're happy with that, you can then press the button to exit the room. We've now done all the achievement workstations. So if you just want to check your achievements and see how much you've got left to do. If you have got a few missing, you may need to return back to those workstations and try again. But if they did pop correctly, you should only be missing two achievements at this point. The first one being passing the time, which is playing for a total of 100 in-game days. This is going to be a case of just going AFK in this realm. If you do go AFK in this server, it's going to take you another four hours to complete. So make sure you've got your controller plugged in and fully charged, ready to go AFK. The last achievement that you're probably now missing is where have you been? This is receive a gift from a tamed cat in the morning. This is purely because you haven't been able to go to sleep on the server and there's always been other people present. If you are looking to get this achievement and get the full completion, I suggest loading up a survival world with the seed 20063866677. And show you start with the map, the bonus chest and coordinates on. Create that world. And then once you've loaded in, what you want to do is open the chest and check if there's any cooked or raw salmon in there. The bonus or starting chest should be underneath you in this tree. So what you want to do is drop down to the floor level, open that chest. And I got lucky here and got two pieces of raw salmon. Make sure you pick up all the other vegetables and food items just to keep you going while you're running around. Also grab any tools that you might find useful. And then what we want to do here is open the map. Ensure that we're facing south. So that's down on the map. And then we want to travel for about 100, 150 blocks in this direction south. Until we come across the village. Within the village there's obviously beds and houses there which we can utilise. And there should be a couple of cats spawn or walking around already. So keep heading south until you come across the village. It should be just on the edge of a piece of water. Keep on going until you find the village. There it is in the distance here. And as I slowly approach the village, I do spot a white cat that I try to attempt to tame. So all you need to do is walk up to the cat. Give it hopefully a couple of pieces of fish and it should become tamed. I was lucky here and I managed to tame it with only two pieces of fish. If for whatever reason you don't have any fish spawn in your starting chest or it takes more than the fish that was in the chest to tame the cat, 
if you head to the south side of the village there's a large body of water here it's either a river or a lake all you want to do is jump into that water and then what you should find is some fish or salmon floating around track it down and then all you need to do is punch it a couple of times to get yourself some raw salmon grab a couple of pieces of fish or raw salmon from the water and then head back to try and tame that cat once you have him tamed then all you need to do is wait for nightfall ensure the cat is locked inside one of the houses with you and then once it's dark enough just head to bed the cat should then lay down on your chest and then when you wake up he should have hopefully left you a little treat in this case it was a rabbit's foot give it a few seconds and then hopefully the achievement should pop I hope you found this video guide useful. It was quite time consuming to edit all this together. If you do appreciate this, please show your support by liking and subscribing. Thanks and I will see you in the next video.